Hey, you took my parking whoa, spot. Whoa, 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 what's the problem, man? You took my parking spot. I'm sorry, I, I really wasn't paying much attention. I, I didn't see you waiting for it. Not a big deal to me. If you want me to move my car, I'll move my car. My old lady's nagging me. I, again, I'm sorry, man. I just wasn't paying attention to everything around me today. Would you like me to move my car? Please. Okay, it's no problem, man. Just give me some space. I'll move it. Hey, I'm sorry. You have a nice day. All right, so what you saw there was me using some de-escalation techniques to avoid a confrontation. There's some big things to think about here. Number one, de-escalation may not be the right choice. There are some risks with it because you are involved with this person for a prolonged period of time. And, uh, you, and baby, fighting is the better option or fleeing is the better option. Hey, I don't want trouble and leave and let the chips fall where they may. Or sometimes they come at you so aggressively you have no option but to fight to defend yourself. Um, one, always pick your battles. Two, control your emotions, and what I basically say is act as if a parent or teacher is watching you. Three, display assertiveness, okay? So I still use my nonverbal posture. If you notice, I got into not a fighting stance, but I put up a little bit of a physical and psychological barrier, and I faced him directly. And the tone of my voice was not over the top aggressive, and it wasn't passive. So I didn't make myself look weak and scared. I didn't go way overboard and meet aggression with aggression, because that will add fuel in the fire. So my body posture had to indicate that I was sincere, as well as the verbs that I said had to indicate, or the verbiage that I said would have to indicate that I was sincere as well. I asked him directly, hey, what's the problem? I gave him a face-saving exit. Hey, I'm sorry, you might be right. You want to avoid telling people that they're wrong. So I told him, you might be right. I wasn't paying attention. My old lady's nagging me. Uh, it's just been one of those days. And then I gave him no reason, basically, to assume that I would attack him. And I gave him no reason to assume that it would be beneficial for him to attack me versus allowing the situation to be de-escalated. So that direct communication is important. I ultimately said, give me some space and told him to have a good day. And then I would have proceeded to move my car out of the area. So there's a lot of tidbits in there for de-escalation. Again, please just make sure you pick your battles. And if you're gonna do it, do it from a position of assertiveness. Don't make yourself look like an easy target. All right, go out there and be safe.